Flora Harris. Job Corps works for me, and I'm sure it can work for you. Job Corps wasn't a second chance to me. It was hope for me, an opportunity that came right on time to build me back up when I just fell apart. Well, before I thought about coming to Job Corps, I ended up pregnant my senior year of high school. There was a lot of doubt that I wouldn't make it, but I graduated ahead of my class and later found myself trying to find a job to provide for myself and my son, who was premature. But I got tired of looking and gave up and lied on the government. But eventually, I couldn't do it anymore. Living off one from pay wasn't enough for me and my son. But after that, I found myself going house to house with a newborn. Things started stressing me out living with my aunt. She still couldn't believe I hid my pregnancy until I became six months pregnant and that I now had a baby. But as days grew old, drama always found sweat at me, more so over money. Every time I turned around, somebody was in my pockets, taking what little I had from me and my son. So I usually found myself somewhere between Michigan and Indiana, traveling on the bus with an infant. I really didn't like living with people because I've always had that thrown back in my face. So when I was in need of something, I usually tried to figure out something with my mouth closed. And that was my problem. I always found myself stuck because of my stubborn ways. But I learned, and I learned the hard way, that in this world, it's every man for himself. You can't depend on nobody to do anything for you. When I lost my mother in 2005, it hit hard for me. And before then, I could never understand the saying, can't nobody love me you like your mother until I lost mine at the tender age of 13. It finally made me think, my mother would never call my name again, not even to do the simplest thing as to bring her something to drink. How I would die to see her one more time, to hear her voice because it's gone. I believe everybody deserves closure in order to grow, which I didn't get until two years ago. I had always had in the back of my mind that I was never told the truth. So I searched for the truth while going through old photos of my mother. But I was told my mother died of cancer. I didn't know I was telling a lie. But from that day, I think my mother found out she would die. She prepared me and my siblings for it. She would sit us down and tell us, I'm very sick and one day I'm going to die. So that was all I knew. To be a child and continuously be in and out of the hospital, sitting by my mother's side, it did something to me. When my mother brought her dead dead home, she would just lay there, almost sightless, and listen to her gospel music. I could tell she was slowly leaving us, but I didn't know when. Well, from the home nurses leaving steps before you die books on my mother's table, and my mother being highly upset about that, and to my mother barely eating, to not eating at all, to be asleep with her eyes dead open, traumatized me. To January 22nd, 2005, when my mother left us, and God finally took her. She still had her gospel music on, and from what I can remember, it was playing Shirley Caesar, I'm ready. I think my aunt kind of knew. I don't know if she felt it or what, because her and my mother are identical twins. That very night, I lost my mother to HIV in the month. Job Corps suggests that you protect yourself and know you and your partner's status. And I stand 100% behind them. Don't let five or 10 minutes give you a life sentence because you need the ones you love. And from that day to the day I finally realized my mother was gone, I thought that I should die with her. To plot how I would kill myself just to be with her, I was scared. Who would take care of me? How do you survive without a mother? I kind of think my mother gave up on us that she could have hung on a little longer. But who am I to say? I don't know what it's like to be in that position. The pain, the suffering. I know she wouldn't intentionally hurt us. I believe God caught on her because it was more than she could bear. And I believe she didn't tell us because of the stigma and ignorance of people that show towards people living with HIV and AIDS. And I just hope she would have understood that I love her regardless. She trusted a man with her body that had been spreading the disease because he knew he had it. I felt so much anger when I found out he had recently died before my entry date. I just wish I could have had an extra seven years with my mother that he was able to spend on this earth. I just wish she was here to see her second grandson and see how much I've grown and that I'm a woman now. Job Corps is teaching me what my mother was unable to. I know it's only because they care for me to see that I push myself further 
so I can provide for myself and my son, Jeremiah, who's two years old now. So now, so that I will not have to sit in the government building for welfare and to be waiting on someone's section A list. So now I strive for greatness because I'm determined to reach my goals. I plan to take the certified nursing assistant trade after I finish with hotel hospitality and also go into advanced training for LPN. Then I would like to serve my country and go into the Air Force and further my education in nursing. And maybe one day, I'll become a doctor and find a cure for HIV and AIDS. All I ask of you is to take care of your body. It's your temple, and not everyone should be invited. Silence is deadly. Use your voice to confront and fight for the truth. When I'm here at job court, I feel it's home to me. I rarely leave. I have my own room, which became my comfort room. And I know it's safe when I leave Jeremiah in daycare while I attend training. I appreciate everything Job Corps offers for me and my son and how much staff block their way. Job Corps works for me, and I'm sure it can work for you. Thank you.